Hey YouTube, this is uh, my review, unboxing and review of the Streamlight TLR3 weapons light for my Springfield SD9. So I had a uh, NC Star, one of those cheap lights uh, that I got on Amazon for about uh, $35, $40. It actually worked pretty well for me. I um, brought it to the range, got about 200 rounds uh, with no problem. But then I actually thought about it a little bit more and I thought, you know what, if I'm going to be using this to rely on my or my family's life, I should upgrade the light at the very least. So I got this, the Streamlight TLR3. Um, I'm sure if you go on YouTube, uh, you can find a lot of reviews on it. So I just wanted to show you um, functionality and how it fit on my XD. So I got my, uh, again, my Springfield XD 9mm with a Hogue grip. That's pretty much the only thing I've done to it. It's pretty greasy only because I just got back from the range uh, a few days ago and I haven't had a chance to clean it. So. Um, First and foremost, let's go ahead and uh, see the magazine. Let's go ahead and release it. Safety check. Nothing in. Put the magazine away. So let's go ahead and open the streamlight. Uh, I got it on uh, Amazon. I think it was seventy four ninety nine or something. Total price was uh, something like seventy eight dollars. Again, after doing a lot of research, I thought, you know what? Let me upgrade the light. I wasn't going to spend, you know, almost two hundred dollars for any higher brand like a Surefire or uh, I know Glock makes a light, but I think it's for Glock. But um, after seeing the reviews, and I also carry a Streamlight uh, handheld just for my primary. So here's uh, the light itself. Polymer. Uh, the box says it's 125 lumens. It'll run uh, an hour and a half on the, uh, I think it's the C... One, two, let me just double check. It's not the CR123 battery, so. Um, attention, you must use a key hand tightened using a coin only. So I'm gonna go ahead and peel this sticker off. And I'll save that for later. So the light is an LED bulb and again 125 lumen the operation of it you have these two it's actually one rocker switch so you flip down on the right side for momentary on push down completely hopefully you heard the click but that's the uh, on on the left side so if you're right-handed it'd be your off hand momentary switch and this doesn't have a uh, strobe feature so two functions left or right side momentary all the way down here the click you can feel the click actually and uh, that's on and then off would be the opposite and then uh, if you press on the left side you get momentary as well so it comes with keys and these keys basically fit different types of handguns. So the A key, based on what I've learned, and then also if you look at the booklet, the A key is gonna be for my firearm, the Springfield XD. And if we look, there's a key card, and the key card basically says, Springfield XD, subcompact, full-size frame, with two grooves or one locking groove. So the full size frame with two grooves, 
key A, and then the one with the one locking groove is going to be key, uh, key C. So comes pre-installed with key A already. So let's go ahead and uh, install it. So it says to hand tighten. So let's go ahead and uh, loosen it. And as I'm loosening it, the screw is spring loaded. Make sure you don't lose that spring. The XZ has two rails or two grooves. I'm going to bring it back to its farthest. So I have it installed. Let's go ahead and uh, hand tighten it. And as I hand tighten it, it's on there pretty tight. The thing about the NC star that I had, I needed a, uh, I think it was an Allen wrench to hand tight or to tighten it. Whereas this one, you can just hand tighten. And based on the profile, I'll go ahead and release my slide. As you see, it only protrudes maybe a quarter of an inch, if that. If we look at the profile of the firearm, the front view, it doesn't add too much weight to the firearm as well and operation so I could use my trigger finger momentary and if I push down completely to hear a click and then on the offhand I could manipulate it this way as well So there's my review. I'm going to go ahead and bring it to the range probably uh, over the weekend or so to try it. One thing, if you're using a, a uh, for instance, I use this as my home defense. I keep this next to me when I go to sleep. Not that we have, we live in a bad area, but in all honesty, crime doesn't have a zip code. But I'm relying on this as my primary home defense weapon. Thus, you would think I would rely on this as my primary weapons light. It is my primary weapons light. But I also carry, because I like the Streamlight product, I also carry on my person every day the Streamlight Protac 2L. So if I take a Sharpie, it's just about and you can use a Sharpie as reference. And so I carry this with me at all times. It's 290 lumen. I could be wrong on 290. It could be 310, 290. I know the older version was uh, 290. What I did was, because it's a little smooth, I added some grip tape just so I can get some grip. There's a clip light. I always carry it in the case. And I always have this on me. No matter where I go, day or night, especially night, but I, ca I carry it with me 24-7 whenever I'm out of the house because I trust this light. So with that, carry concealed, I'll have to get a Kydex holder so that this light and the gun can be accommodated. And then also, I still carry this. So anytime I need to manipulate the firearm, first and foremost, I'll pull this. And this has... High, strobe, and then low. That's the Streamlight ProTac 2L. And then now I have the Streamlight TLR3 to go along with it. Hope you found this useful. If you did, please click like. I'm also going to have more 
uh, reviews, unboxings on just normal everyday things, but a lot of them will be firearm related. All right. Aloha.